Hola, mi clase. All right, 14, one scatter plot. So I can construct and interpret scatter plots. So um, a scatter plot is a graph with points that are plotted to help us show a relationship between two sets of data. Um, and we'll talk about what those relationships are, but that's the whole point of them is to see if two sets of data have a relationship or maybe they don't. So a cluster is a set of closely grouped data. So it that's what you would call it. It's a cluster. There's a big group of them together. They're very close together. It's almost like they could be one point, okay? An outlier is a data point that is very different from the rest of the data. And notice we don't say like very high or very low. It's just very different. So if all the data is very high and one data point is very low, it would be considered an outlier and then vice versa, okay? So it's just a data point that um, looks very off compared to the rest. And then we have our associations, and this describes how the data sets are related. So again, back to where scatterplot is what we're trying to find is the relationship. This is what we would call them. So the first one would be considered a positive association because you can see that as the x's are getting bigger, so are the y's. It's think of it as when we were talking about linear relationships, this we would call this a positive slope. So it's the same idea. Notice it is going up from left to right. So then we have a negative association. This is when they go down from left to right. And then we have a no association where they're just kind of all over the place, which would mean that the data points have no relationship between them, okay? One does not affect the other. All right, so Susan asked 20 people if they would buy a new product she developed at each um, of several prices. The scatter plot shows how many of the 20 said yes at a given price. Describe the association between the price and the number of buyers. So when she said $2, right, two, four, six, uh, 20 out of 20 people said yes. And then when she said, how about $4, it looks like it went down to 19 said yes. And then $6, um, it looks like, what is that, 17 said yes, $8, so on, right? So, and then when she got to $12, only two people said yes, they would buy whatever product she was selling at $12, okay? So, what we would do is we'd look at it and, and based off our associations, right? A positive association would look something like this. A negative association would look something like this. And a no association would, or um, no relationship would kind of be like this, right? So if we look at this data, we can see that it is generally, go, excuse me, down from left to right. So to describe the association between the price and the number of buyers, we would call this a negative association. And that's because as the price gets larger, the number of people that said yes get smaller. Okay, so as X, uh, goes up, y, oh, goes down. Sorry, I meant to say goes down. I guess I should have said goes, huh? Goes up, y goes down. So that's a negative association. All right, down below, we have Bob recorded his height at different ages. The table below shows his data. So we're gonna make a scatter plot. That's all we're gonna do with this one, just practice pot, plotting points and making a scatter plot. Um, this thing right here, this little squiggly line, means that the intervals from zero to, I believe, 30, right? This goes by tens, 40, nope, 45, five, so this is 35. This does not jump the same amount. These are obviously going by five, so 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, but from zero to 35, it clearly doesn't go by fives. So this is a, a symbol they show that from here to here, they don't actually use the same interval, and then it goes by a certain interval. They do that because they need to jump from zero to a high number very quickly. Um, and they don't want to have to write all of them to get there, okay? So here are our data points. Remember, this is x and this is y, and then this is x and this is y. Um, I want you to notice, since we're dealing with story problems and real things, they always label them as what they're talking about. So you can see on our first example, it was price, and they put dollars because it's important to know what amount they're talking about. 
um, and then they put the buyers and then same thing here we have age and they put years and they put height and they specifically said in inches these are all important when we're talking about data so we're gonna go to six here's six years old and then we're gonna go to 45 and like I said these are going by five so I'm gonna go right here and then eight is at 50 10 is at 55 12 was at 61 so just above the 60 and 14 was at 63 so about halfway and there it is and that's all we're gonna do for this because uh, we just wanted to practice plotting points on a graph so remember X and Y this is X and this is Y we always try to tend to go across our X's first and then up to our Y's all right so here is some data the final question on a math test reads how many hours did you spend studying for this test the teacher records the number of hours each student studied and the grade the student received on the test so here are our x's and here are our y's and i know that because they labeled here as hours spent and test grade so what i'd like you to do have the integrity is to pause and graph these and then answer this question what trend do you see in the data so it'd be nice if you could practice graphing them see if it came out the same in mind and then put what trend you saw um, without me doing it first so all I'm doing right now is plotting these points The nice thing is that they made these perfectly to match what we needed um, halves and go by fives. So in general, we could say this was a positive association. All right, so you can see in general, it does go up from left to right. Um, we even maybe could say that four is a, getting close to being an outlier because if we kind of looked at the general direction, someone who has four hours should have definitely probably gotten 100%. So I wouldn't call it an outlier, but it definitely is going to affect our data a little bit, but it's getting close. All right, so that's it. So the main things to remember is our associations right so positive equals up from from left to right negative equals down from left to right i'm going to make these smaller because oh that does not say right there we go because i also need to add I'll add it over here, none equals random. Random, there we go. So these are our associations. Um, so all I need to do for your independent practice is to describe this association. Um, and it says, and give a possible reason for it. So you kind of have a two part here. What kind of association and describe it so i'm looking for obviously more than just right um one word here that's why you got a couple of lines all right until next time